This is Therese, one mother, one daughter. Of course, it's me. And I'm here to show you how to do my cute little wine glass charms to go with the altered bottle that I made for the hashtag Love Summer Art. It's really easy. All you need is some beads. In my case, I'm using the beads to go with my altered bottle. You're going to need some tools or you can use your hand. And you're going to need a piece of wire, uh, about five, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, about five inches long. So, it's a really easy and simple craft. And it comes out so cute. So, there's the first one I made, the second one, and here is another one that I made. I'll show you the more in detail so i just get a piece of wire i don't know about gauges i really don't i got this big old hunk of wire Ugh. from my mother years ago when she worked for prudential and after 9 11 they moved from the place they was at and they had all the stuff they was giving away so i did get that so i don't know what gauge it is it's just needs to be something that can kind of hold this form but easy for you to bend so i don't know what gauge so first you're going to take your tool put it flesh with the wire and make a little loop okay like that you're going to do the same thing on the other side but not right now you're going to first string your beads on so, in my case, I'm going to put three big beads. Nope, no, no, no. First, we're going to start with what's going to be at the end. So, um, all together, well, I'll tell you as we go. You'll see how many beads it takes. It's your choice how much you want to put on, but for five inches, this is the size I like to put on. So, I put two little ones. I'm doing I'm doing three size three sizes big medium and small so I right, two little ones I'm just gonna start with what's gonna be at the end first and don't for forget to subscribe click that subscribe button like and you can also comment and then you're gonna put how many are here uh, two medium sized ones so there's two small ones I didn't even tell you where I got these beads from these beads I'm, I might have mentioned it in my last my last video these beads are from Michaels they were really cheap don't mind my nails I still have ink from when I did the finish the bottle so it's not dirt it's ink <laughs> it does look like dirt but it's not Okay, so there's two little ones, two medium ones, and then there's going to be three big ones. And you're going to do the same size of beads on the other side. First, you're going to do one side. Ooh. Okay, so there's three, one, two, and there's three, okay? So this is like one side. You're going to put your little charm in the middle, whatever charm you want. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, only in reverse. So that's that right there. So let me just put that to the side and show you how. I know I should have did this first, but this is what we're going to do. This is how I'm doing it. And show you how the string to be. So that's one side. And then I have these. Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know the names of these things. I, I just don't. But I know what I like. So how about that? So... I think I think these are called rondelles or spacers. I, I'm not real sure. And I have an eye pen. It's my eye pen. So I have two of these spacer beads and one of these big giant. I mean, well, not big giant, but big clear beads. And I got these from Michaels. Now, this is the thing that's going to hang in the middle, like so. But you can put anything in the middle. I'll show you some ideas at the end. So, show you how simple. First, the spacer or rondelle, whatever they call them. 
then the bead, and then another spacer. Push that all the way up, and then you're going to take that little part. Can you see that little part? And you're going to make it into a little loop. Like so, you can't see it because it's kind of small in there. But you want to make sure I got to put it close to me so I can see. You're going to make sure that your little loop is closed. Okay. Now you slide your wire through that loop. like so and now you're going to put the other side that's why i said there's two sides so now you're going to go in reverse you're going to put the three bigger beads if i could put it on hitch i have on my glasses and i can't even see okay and then second one third one so that's the three big beads. Now you're going to put three big beads and you're going to put the two medium sized ones. And this could be any beads that you want. And then you're going to put the two small ones. I have to, okay, got it there. And this, okay. So this is what you have. And now you're going to loop that other loop around. Make it flush with your pliers or however you're going to do it. If you're going to use your hand or whatever. And make it into a loop. So now you have two loops like this. And the reason why you do that is so that when you put it around your bottle. Wait, let me just turn this one around. When you, I mean, your bottle, when you put it around your glass, it will stay. So you can shape it how you want it to be. Doesn't it, isn't this cute? And it looks like an earring, right? I think I might make some to be earrings. So you would just take this and loop it around your bottle. Let me show you without that other one on there, okay? Okay, and you just loop it around. That's it. Isn't that easy? Isn't that cute? And these, I, I showed this in my last video, just in case anybody didn't see. These pearls are from Michaels, and they came in a big pack. I had them for a while. And, yeah, you can use those. You can get those. And then if you get 50%, I think it's like maybe, I think I'm, I'm not sure because I had them for a while, but I think they were like $10. But you could also color them. See? I colored them black. And isn't that cute? And you just loop it around. So anytime you have like a little party or get together at your house, you can make these. I want to show you one more thing that you can do to put in your... Oops, that's To put in your... On the middle if you want to do initials now a couple of weeks ago i stopped by michael's to get some resin clear resin i told y'all that story and i uh got the wrong resin sent my husband back to get some new resin they didn't have none i really need some clear resin so if anybody want to donate some to me I i'm more than willing to take it <laughs> yeah um so anyway, you can take something like this and put that in the middle where this is at. And then you'll have uh, initials for your guests. And they could just pick whichever one that they, you know, is their initials. I mean, you know what I mean. So it doesn't even have to be pearls. It could be any beads that you have. I also have found these. And it could easily be this. Inspire and, 
you know so you can do anything that you want with any color beads that you want to go with anything that you have isn't that just cute i just love this so I'm going to keep this so when I have guests over, usually I have people around the holidays over. So, um, yeah, I think this is so cute. I'm going to make some for a friend who has um, dinner parties at our house frequently. And let's close that up a little bit. I'm really loving this. So anyway... Um, yeah, that's Therese, or one mother, one daughter, and I guess I'll be back to do another video. I have an idea for something that I need y'all help with. So, thanks for stopping by my channel, and, um, yeah.